When making claims, it always helps to quote a super smart person with nice accolades. But it also helps if that person actually said what you're claiming they said. When it comes to alkaline water, one guy in particular is quoted often. And we're going to put it to the test on this episode of H2 Minutes. Otto Warburg, a beloved scientist and winner of a Nobel Prize. His name has been attributed to many claims and been used for marketing purposes. There are two main claims that I will break down. Claim number one, cancer cannot survive in an alkaline environment. So as you can guess, this made the alkaline story explode because who doesn't want to kill cancer, right? Unfortunately, his research never actually said that. What his research actually said regarding cancer and pH is that cancer excretes acid to the surrounding tissues in order to keep itself around a 7.4 pH. So essentially, acid doesn't cause cancer, but cancer causes acid. But of course, every type of cancer is different, so it's difficult to say cancer does this or cancer does that. In fact, there are some types of cancer that can actually cause alkalosis, aka too high of a blood pH. Claim number two states that cancer can't survive in an oxygenated environment. What he actually observed was that cancer switches to an anaerobic method of energy production even when there's plenty of oxygen present. This is actually called the Warburg effect. So basically, cancer thrives just as well in an oxygenated environment as it does a hypoxic environment. But if it were true that low oxygen causes cancer and high oxygen prevented cancer, then there would be differences in those living in low elevation and those living in high elevation. But guess what? There is a difference. But the research shows that cancer rates are lower where oxygen levels are lower. Interesting. Getting back to my main man, Otto, even though his cancer research is well and good, it's not what he won his Nobel Prize for. In 1931, he won the Nobel Prize for his discovery of cytochrome oxidase, which transfers the electrons to oxygen, forming water during aerobic respiration. In 1944, he was nominated for his second Nobel Prize for his discovery and work on flavoprotein. But I repeat, he did not win his Nobel Prize for discovering the root cause of cancer. While marketing claims make Warburg's findings appear as though cancer is simple, and that all we need to know is that cancer does not like alkaline stuff, Warburg actually made it evident that cancer is a complex, irregular disease with a mind of its own. Okay, so maybe what's said about Warburg's findings aren't accurate. But what if the thought behind it is still applicable? So what if an alkaline body is what you need to fight off disease. We will dive into this topic and more on our next episode. Check out the description for sources to back up the information on this video. And that's your dose of H2 in two minutes.